video we're going to install Joomla and we have other videos on Joomla installation uh, the last one I did was how to install a rocket launcher package from rocket theme uh, wherein you basically uh, install a full bundle that has the Joomla installation and your template and a lot of other things but sometimes you just want a plain old old school Joomla installation and you just want to set it up and then install your template uh, so the, what I'm teaching in this video is not so much how to install Joomla but how to get the most recent Joomla uh, installation package up on your server in a lot less time than the normal route and what's the normal route well you would go to joomla.org and once there you would click on the download section and you would download a couple of megabyte file uh, which would be your Joomla installation and you gotta make sure you have the most recent one and then you have to have FTP that up to your server um, so it's a bit time consuming so basically here's the old school method click on download and here's the full package right here and you would download this and that takes up room on your hard drive if you forget to uh, uh, delete it later on so at any rate I'm gonna teach you another trick and it's a tool that's freely available uh, also on joomla.org in the extensions directory extensions.joomla.org it's called start for joomla it does a couple of things uh, but one of the things it does is it grabs the most uh, current joomla edition and it remotely brings it over to your server so here it is there's two items in here you can go ahead and grab both items but the one that we're going to be take, uh, using today is called Joomla Start and it's version 1.5 so I've already downloaded that and so all I need to do I'll show it to you okay here's what it looks like it's a PHP file joomla.start.php and it's 229 kilobytes so this is a tiny little file Let's go ahead and see what it can do. So here I am. I'm in my brand new hosting space. I've got a domain. I've got a folder called public HTML. And I'm in my file manager, which is part of cPanel. So let's upload this little PHP file. Joomla start.php. And we're going to upload it in just a couple of seconds. It's done. So let's go back and let's refresh this and here it is so inside of our public HTML folder is Joomla start PHP so now I'm going to grab my domain name from my address toolbar and copy it and I'm going to go to a new window and I'm going to paste that in and hit enter and I'm only going to find a couple of things my CGI bin and here is the file we just uploaded so let's hit it and that will activate the PHP program that's been written by this nice developer and here's a little form all you need to do is enter in three lines of information this is done automatically it detects your directory now I'll mention that if you did want to create a directory if you didn't want it to be in your root if you wanted to have a forward slash website or something of that nature you could do that here's your URL which it also auto, de auto detects and here is the latest version of Joomla 1.5.18 which as of today's date that is the most current package and it gives you two options this one says recommended so let's go ahead and use it our FTP server is your domain name typically the username is whatever your FTP username is and your password is whatever password you've set up or your host has set up and that's it let's press the button and we're done let's go back to our file manager and refresh it and now there's an extra file in there and what is it well it's the newest version full package install file for Joomla again it's a it's over a, a megabyte and a half so let's go ahead and 
delete our start Joomla start PHP file, it becomes a security risk once you're done with it. Let's click on Joomla and hit extract. We want to extract it right into our root of our site. And we're on our way. So I'm going to go ahead and take away all of this up in our address bar and get it right down to the root. And now we have a uh, full install of Joomla ready to go. I'm going to continue on here. Uh, our pre-installation check is all good. There's one recommended item in my PHP display errors. I'm not going to worry about that. Next is the license. We click Next. Next is our database. Okay, so we need a database. Let's build one quickly. Here I am. I'm in cPanel. This is a standard tool that most hosts offer, not all, uh, but certainly every good host site uh, company will give you some means of building a MySQL database. So we're going to give it a name and we're going to create the database. Next we're going to create a user. and then we're going to generate a password. We're going to copy this password and we're going to go ahead and paste that into a notepad so that we can use it later on and store it for future. And once you've created the password you want to create the user. There it is. We want to go back. Final step is add our user to our database. So we just click add. And what's real nice about cPanel is it saves you a little time here. If we just copy this information, it's our user and our database name. And let's go ahead and put that also in our notepad. And I like to put things in order. User, database user first, password second, and database name last. Let's go back to our installer. After we finalize this, we're going to give all privileges to that user for that database. We're done. Here's our installer. Next step is, sorry, localhost is our host name in 99% of cases. If you're using GoDaddy, it's something else. Our username is our first item here. Make sure when you copy this username that you don't grab any white space. That's enough to... See, and I forgot an I, so just be careful here. Uh, or cautious. Okay, now I'm going to grab the entire password, including this little character, and no extra white spaces. So there, I've done that correctly. And then finally, we want our database name. I've copied that, and I'm going to go over here and paste that in. And click on Next. And we're not going to set up FTP, but we are going to give ourselves a site name. So in this case, the name of the site. You could put a slogan after that, but we can do that later. Let's get our email in there, and let's go ahead and grab a password. Uh, I like to use this uh, online password generator.com, and if you refresh this page, it's going to just randomly generate some pretty strong passwords. So I'm going to grab any one of these. And I'm going to paste it into my notepad so that I have a record of my 
Joomla login. There it is. And now we'll go back to Firefox and our installation. We'll paste in this password. Uh, here's an option for you. Um, a basic Joomla installation has sample da data. You can install or you can leave it empty. Let's just go ahead and install it. You can always delete it later. Uh, there's also a migration script here. That's for another day. We click next and we're done. So there's only one more step. We're going to go back to our cPanel file manager and we're going to delete the installation directory for security reasons. Say goodbye to that. And we'll go back here now and let's go ahead and log into the back end of our new Joomla installation. We know that the user is admin, password, it was the last thing I copied, so I'm just going to hit Control V, paste that in, hit login, and I'm going to click Remember because this is my computer and I want to be able to get back into this site with ease. So we're done. We've just installed Joomla. Let's take a preview. And there it is.